Tomorrow, students in the state's largest school district return to the classroom from winter break. But the journey to get back to school will be very different for thousands. Thanks for joining us tonight for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Hello to you. I'm Carrie Charles. Columbus City Schools has overhauled its bus routing system which could mean a combination of new bus drivers, routes, and bus stops. Tonight, NBC4 Sierra Johnson attended the Columbus City School Board meeting, where board members received a final update from the Transportation Department. She joins us now and has a recap. Yeah, Carrie and Colleen, that update was provided just 12 hours before many of those drivers prepared to pick up students for their very first day back. This change has been weeks in the making, and according to a rep from the Transportation Office, the holiday break gave the district a chance to complete the final run throughs. We know the greatest frustration that parents had was each morning wondering, well, will my child's bus be just a few minutes late? Will it even show up at all? We think with these changes, we can make sure that our buses are there at the right time, all the time that they're supposed to be there. In a move considered unprecedented by district leaders, the routes of many of the 38,000 CCS students who ride buses are changing. This as students return to class from winter break. The drivers and the support teams um, have reviewed the new routes and they're ready to go. Rodney Stuff will be an interim director for the district's transportation services, provided an update for school board members at Tuesday's meeting. He says winter break was used to prepare drivers, support teams, and families for the upcoming changes. They've been basically running dry runs since about December 5th. Um, and as we are made aware of issues or safety concerns or things of that nature that are brought to our attention by either a, an email on a parent or a bus driver driving the route and seeing something, we've made, been able to make that adjustment. Stuffelbean also says his team worked to over communicate these changes through communication with parents and for those with remaining questions, a call center will remain open on standby from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. for that return to class. He also addressed the strides that were recently made toward addressing an issue being experienced not only by this district, but district statewide staffing. First and foremost, we now have 512 drivers, so we've gained a few over the break. 512 drivers for 466 routes. While tomorrow is the true test, district leaders are working to emphasize that if parents, even on the day of, have questions, they will work to get those questions answered. And just to the community, remember, this is almost like another first day. So tomorrow will be a little bumpy and it's going to be okay. And as long as we're there to support our students, um, you know, that's really all that matters. So as we approach the return day for those students, it may be handy to keep this information nearby. All route change information should be in the parent portal. If there are still questions, CCS, again, their transportation center is available at 614-365-5074. On Wednesday, that center will be open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And school administrators and secretaries also have access to the students' bus route information.